That's a fun code. Air temperature sender code. Random multiple. This is a uh, 2005 Dodge Caravan. It's pulling a P0300. It's got a misfire. And it's you look at the coil back here, there's, there's three wires. There's a, there's a blue white and a blue orange and there's a brown with an orange and a brown and a white. So this one here is the positive, the brown white, this one here. That's going to be your positive. I know that's going to be I know that's going to be working and I know that brown white's going to be hot because it's running. And what I got to do is check a signal in all three of these other ones, make sure they're all getting a signal. I just took a T-pin and stabbed it into the back of the connector so it, it actually touches the connector on the inside of the waterproof connector. And then I just ran a cheesy little test light I'm going to start this thing. And when I touch it to ground, it should blink. And it does. It flickers. So I know this thing's producing a signal from the ECM to fire that coil. Now I got to do the same thing to the other two. Um, it actually sounds like it's not missing right now either, which kind of sucks. It's kind of hard to diagnose the damn thing. That one's working. That one's working too. I don't think this thing's misfiring right now though. This is going to be impossible to diagnose. This thing isn't misfiring right now. I'm pretty sure it's going to be fine. I don't think I'm going to be able to diagnose this thing. But just for fun, I'm going to pull these plug wires out one at a time while it's running. I wouldn't recommend doing this because it might stop your heart and you could die. But I like to take that chance. So anyways, I rigged this up. I got a ground wire that's on a spark plug boot puller. I've been using forever. And just so long as this ground doesn't pop off, I don't get electrocuted. It's a good idea not to touch the body of the car either. Like I say, I wouldn't recommend doing this. This is just my stupidity. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure these all three of these coils fire really nice and hot. Hey, it's missing now. Not that one. Not that one. There it is. That's a dead one. So now that it's missing, I'm going to recheck. Oh, it's not missing. Now it's working. Maybe I'll keep messing with this and try to get it to misfire again. And keep checking it, I don't know. Yeah, two and five. That's this coil right here. That wasn't getting a spark when it was misfiring. And that would be this tan and blue wire all the way on the left. So I T-pinned it and I checked it and now it's not misfiring and it's and it's it's, it's pulsing. So I'm going to try to run this again and get it to misfire and then check it. And if it's if it doesn't pull a signal then I know it's going to have a computer problem and not a coil problem. I've been trying and trying I can't get this damn thing to misfire on me. It's irritating. Oh, it's running fine. I'm going to throw a coil at it because it's cheap enough. I don't mind being wrong. It's just like a doctor. You can't be right all the time. Then if the thing comes back, I'll 
I'll put a computer in it. But anyways, now you know how to test your stuff. So I'm, I'm not wasting my time anymore. I just bought a coil for it. I told the guy that it's, it might be it and it might not be. And if it's not, you just got to go like on eBay. And, and there's, there's people that rebuild computers for these because they got capacitors in them that go bad a lot. And you just tell them the make, model, and year. You give them the VIN number of the vehicle and they, they refurbish a computer and they program it for the car. And then you, you just plug and play. You just plug the thing in and it works. So yeah, that's what I told him. I'll throw a part on it. He, he gave me an okay and I said if he's got a problem after this, then he's just got to get a computer and throw it in. And um, I think they're behind the inner fender. You got to take the inner fender out and it's, it's, it's under this box. But hopefully we won't have to go there. First thing I want to do is unbolt this power steering reservoir to get it out of my way. There's some vacuum lines behind it I'm going to unplug. Yeah, that one broke. I'll just get a I'll just get a vacuum line and just connect the two together with a vacuum hose. I'm going to get this out of my way. Kind of flop it up here. There should be a bolt right here too where this there's a stud right here. There should be a 10 millimeter on there, but it's gone. So somebody's been in here before, so I don't have to unbolt that 10 millimeter. I'm just gonna try to bungee this up out of the way a little bit. And there's numbers on the top of the coil. I don't wanna mix these wires up, so I'm gonna mark them all. Just like that, pull all these wires off. Try not to pull them on the wires either, because the wires might pull out of the boots. And of course, what could be a Dodge without childproof connectors? This little red tab. It's already pulled out, so somebody's been in here before. But if, um, if you need to get this tab off on this other side, you gotta push, you gotta push a little clip one way and then push it back. It's really, really, I don't know, it's dodgy. It's really dodgish. And you gotta push in on this, try to get this thing out of here, out of here, like so. And you got two 10 millimeters. Well, that's it, and it still runs just like it did before, so it might be fixed. Okay, bye.